Hey guys, so I'm here today to film another video, and since I'm in my new apartment and I don't have anything on the walls yet, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my gallery wall. So I have a few things laid out. I'm going to show you those things, and then I'm going to uh, hang them on this wall. So yeah, I'm excited about it. I don't have anything on the walls yet. Um, I've been thinking about what I wanted to do and preparing some things and making some things. And um, of course, looking on Pinterest and all of that, um, trying to get ideas. So I finally decided what I wanted to do, and I'm going to show you guys. So if you want to see how I did it, then just all keep right. On so as you can see, I have everything here laid out on the floor. Um, this is how I want it to look on the wall. I actually already put one thing up, and it's that sign right there, which was kind of my starting point. Um, it goes down here at the bottom. And so I thought that would be a good place for me to start and then I could kind of go up from there. So I'm going to go through each piece and just tell you a little bit about it. And then um, I'll start hanging things on the wall. So this first piece here I made, um, the frame is actually a frame that was my grandmother's and it was originally a gold color. It was bought from Home Interior like years and years ago. And so I got it and I painted it white and then I used the Valspar antiquing glaze around the edges to make it have that antique uh, vintage look. And then I just um, did burlap on the background and I found that T for my name and put a little bit of the glaze on it as well. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and then I bought those little flowers there at Michael's and hot glued it to it. So that's the first piece. And then this piece was also a mirror from my grandmother's house. Um, it was wood, I think. So I painted it. It's a light blue color. Very, very light blue. And then I also put the antiquing, gla antiquing glaze on that. This piece here I got from Target in the dollar section uh, several years ago. I just bought it because I liked it. And then I, you know, I never knew what I wanted to do with it. And so um, I used my dad's torch to burn the wood to give it a rustic feel. And so I'm gonna put that on the wall. This piece here was actually a frame that had a picture in it. And I got rid of the picture and painted the back part of the frame with chalkboard paint and then wrote a really pretty Bible verse on there with chalk that I saw on Pinterest. The frame was actually black, so I spray painted it. And then I made this little burlap rose and stuck it in the corner there and put a piece of twine at the top to hang it. So that's kind of the focal point, the biggest piece. Uh, this piece here is actually a um, mat, a f like a photo mat that I covered with burlap. It's kind of rugged. I left the edges open. Um, I like the way that looks. And then I found that P for Paisley at Michael's. Um, I think it was $4.99, but it was on clearance, so I think I got it for like $2.15 or something. And then that flower actually came from the pack of flowers that I put on the letter T um, over there. It was a three pack, so I'm going to, that's not hot glued down so, yet, so I'm going to hot glue that down and then hang that like that. And then this piece is a little um, metal I'm not sure it's just a little metal thing and it's got the state of North Carolina on it and I got that from my boyfriend's mom for my birthday I think along with some other things but I, I really like that I think it's cute and goes with my wall well and then here I have this frame that's got some hooks at the bottom and just put pictures of me and my favorite people and that's going there too so there it is um, like I said I already have that piece up so I'm going to go ahead and get these others on the wall.
it looks good it didn't take me very long to do either and I have some space left for a few more things over here on this side if I want to add to it and I didn't uh, glue the flower on the P yet so I'm gonna do that but um, yeah I'm really impressed with it I like the way it looks I took me forever to try to figure out something that I liked in a way that I liked and so I think that's a really good start